What's going on everyone? My name is Goko. So today I'm going to be making an unboxing video for the Nano Leaf Shape Mini Triangles. These are a cool little addition you can add to your setup and I'm going to be covering the installation, unboxing and basically just covering the main questions I get asked such as if they're easy to install, how do you install them, can you move them once you've installed them and honestly are they just worth the cost or any issues you might run into with them in the future. So stick around and I'll answer all those questions right here in this video. So, I have two separate boxes here. The one on the left is actually an expansion pack and you can see that on the bottom left there. Um, on the right I have the starter kit. So the starter kit will essentially come with the power bank and five panels. Basically everything you need to get up and running. The expansion kit doesn't come with the power brick or the power uh, panel or anything like that. So it's just going to have the extra panel. So if you're just getting started and you don't have any at all, then you're going to want to grab the starter kit. And then however many you want on the expansion you can buy the expansion kits all the way up to 50 panels so that's not going to be an issue depending on what you're looking to do however they are very pricey so first thing you're going to find is this little idea card it's just basically a little card to give you some ideal patterns that you can do with the five panels that come in the box you're also going to get this little qr code you can scan and basically it'll bring you to like their designer where you can like map out as many panels as you want in as many different ways as you want without actually mounting anything you can figure out if your design is going to work and how many panels you're going to need nextly you're going to pull out the quick start guide nothing too interesting here just basically the book that shows you how to connect them how to get them onto the wall the do's and don'ts and all the warranty stuff so next you'll find the actual panels themselves. So you'll see these little two card inserts just to keep them in place in the box and as their little triangles or whatever. And um, you just pop these two things out and you should be able to just pull out your five panels like this. Once you pull out the panels, um, you should just be able to pull out this flap on the back and this will show us where our the rest of the stuff is, such as the controller brick, the power cord and whatnot. And then that's everything that's gonna be in this box. It is cool to see they also do um, give you these like little modular kind of power socket things so you can essentially pop on the UE, the EU or the UK um, or maybe US I'm not sure which ones these exactly are but I'll obviously be only needing the UK kind of adapter but um, it's cool that you can swap them out like if you were to ever I guess move or get them elsewhere you can always just swap them out to whatever kind of sockets you need. So you'll see these little tabs and um, these are essentially just going to help each panel click together and click to the actual controller itself. These are a new design. The old panels used to have like more of a kind of SIM card that would slide in each panel and they wouldn't actually hold the panels together. They would more just connect them and then the sticky pads themselves would hold them together. Whereas these new ones actually are kind of held more together by the, cl the clips themselves. And then lastly, you'll just have the sticky pads and these are obviously going to be what you'll need to mount the panels to the wall. So this is pretty straightforward, but this is the expansion pack. Exact same kind of setup, except there's obviously 10 panels in here because there's no power brick and there is no controller because they come with the starter kit, which you need. Again, if you don't already have one, you can't just go and buy an expansion kit because it doesn't come with the cables. You'll need to connect any of them up. It'll just come with the panels itself. So you can see we have 10 panels in this box and it's pretty straightforward to get them out. So this is going to be your controller. Essentially, you're going to take this and mix it with those little clips we seen earlier and we can straight away just push one of those little clips into the bottom of it and it will click in like so. And then easy enough, what you're going to do is essentially just attach the other end of this little clip into the first panel. It doesn't matter which panel you use, all panels are the exact same and um, only one will have to connect to the controller and then the rest will connect to each other obviously dispersing the signal. And you'll end up with something like this. So every other panel is going to attach to this little section we've created here and then this all depends on what design you've chosen but essentially you're just going to build out the design you've chosen from um wherever you want the power brick so for example i want the power brick to be in the middle of my design so i'm going to build out on each side to create the design i want 
So this next part you don't exactly need to do, but what I did was just to ensure the panels were actually working and connecting to my phone okay, I connected them up, opened up the app and ensured I was seeing the new panels on the app and I only just connected one to make sure everything was working okay. As you can see here, everything seems to be working nicely, all the different effects are being sent to the panel correctly, so I think everything's good to go to actually get our design up and onto the wall. Okay, so I've sped up this part here of the video, but essentially what I'm doing is just getting all the panels laid exactly where I need them, getting all the clips in the right places to snap all the little sections together. I will be honest, these clips are really fidgety and annoying to use, so it's very hard to like pick up multiple panels without one of the clips kind of popping off and the little section falling off. So what I did was, you can kind of see it in the video, it's just essentially built separate little sections and by the time I'm putting them on the wall, that's when I kind of pop the main sections together. So it's never going up in one piece because it's just kind of impossible to hold that many panels together before the clips kind of start popping off. And then you can also see I'm just sticking on these little sticky pads. Um, these go onto a little kind of movable round thing on the back. It's a bit strange considering their initial design seems to be much better, but I guess this works too. So you can kind of see here what I mean by when I said these are on like little round kind of maneuverable bits. Uh, the first panel I stuck up, it looked straight when I pushed it on initially, but this little plastic thing allows it to rotate a bit. I have no idea why they've made it like that. Um, as you can see, my nano leaves above them do not have um, anything like that whatsoever. It's just three direct sticky pads onto the panel itself and then onto the wall, whereas these go onto a little plastic thing. Maybe it's to help remove them down the line, but when I did eventually move them into my new studio, I found them a nightmare to get off the wall as well. So either or, not sure why they did that, but as you can see, I'm just one by one putting each kind of section of the panels up onto the wall, and this is what I meant by having to do it in individual sections rather than all the panels at once because all the little clips would pop off if I tried to pick up more than like three or four panels at a time. So, I was pretty happy how they turned out when they were fully installed and how they looked in the background of my stream and my camera and whatnot and just pretty happy to have them overall as a gadget. Uh, were they incredibly expensive? Yes. Were they worth the price? Mm, probably not, but I mean, they're pretty cool and there's nothing really competitor-wise on the same level as them. Um, I'm sure there will be coming in the future, but right now they're kind of a one-of-a-kind object that you can get. I've seen some people make their own. I've seen some people trying to find other companies that will make something similar, but right now you're kind of stuck with NanoLaves pricing if you want something exactly like this. Now, I have had serious trouble with Nano Leaf's customer support multiple times over their panels and um, their first set of panels so the panels you see on the top of this the triangular ones the large ones my power brick has died twice now their customer support is absolutely woeful so if you need any support after you've bought these be prepared to go through some of the worst customer support and robotic scripted responses you've ever dealt with in your life it took me two weeks for them to send a replacement. And by two weeks, I mean not two weeks to receive the replacement, but two weeks of arguing on tickets with them that they were actually a broken part of the product rather than an actual thing I had done. They made me send proof videos that I had actually done how they told me to reset it because I guess they thought I was lying and didn't want to fix my own panels. And they had to keep and checking with their supervisors what they could do next. Uh, re-download the app even though the whole time the physical issue was the power brick had just died it no longer received power no longer received any input but they then tried to tell me it was my wi-fi 
Basically, they will try fob you off and give you all this absolute garbage. They won't actually read any of the messages you send. Sorry for the rant here, but this took me two weeks on two occasions to get solved. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if this brick again goes faulty, given the history I've had with them. And I have to spend another two weeks arguing with them to get a new one. Would I recommend the customer support? Absolutely not. Nanoleaf, get it sorted. Your product's great. Your customer support, oof. Um, but yeah, other than that, I did get an average life of about a year out of the brick first. Um, I haven't had a problem with the mini, the ones that I'm actually showing in this video. I haven't had a problem with them yet so far, but um, that's more because I haven't been able to restick them back on the wall, given the issue I mentioned where they have this little circular kind of mount. But anyway, I'll get over all that and I'll get them up on the wall soon enough. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to check out my other unboxings and my other videos, and I will catch you all again soon. Have a good one.